I come from a background of working with communities. Um, I've worked in nurseries, family centres, community centres and um, carried out roles within family support. And then I took up beekeeping as a hobby around five years ago um, and I got very obsessed with that. Uh, so I decided to leave my job as a family support worker to become a beekeeper. But because of my background of working in communities and with people, I wanted to be sure that what I did surrounding bees and apiculture um, would also have an impact on other people and I could bring people along on the journey. I've got a community apiary in Meadowell in North Tyneside and Gary, who was a member of staff on this site, came along to a beekeeping experience with his family and we spent a few hours just opening some hives, learning about pollinators, as delving into the world of honeybees. Gary then went away um, and of course there was a project going on here on site um, and we thought it would be really good for Pure Buzzing to get involved with that. Uh, so we set up a few meetings, had a little chat about it and then the outcome is now five bee hives on site. <laughs> Two thousand and twenty-two was NHFM's tenth anniversary, and um, so we planned a number of activities throughout the year to celebrate and recognise this. A member of staff came forward with an idea um, to celebrate it, which was the beehives, and we thought it was, you know, a fantastic idea because it really contributes towards the trust community promise. Within the community promise, there are six key pillars. Um, and, and this project contributes to three of them. So education, obviously the work that Stephen does with the schools, um, high school students helping to keep them in mainstream education. Um, also skills like joinery, um, you know, that's, that's what we, we have joiners in NHFM. So it's fantastic from that point of view and just raising awareness of, of NHFM and the NHS as an employer. A lot of students don't think um, that things like this happen in, in hospitals. Um, they think it's all doctors and nurses. There's the wellbeing pillar, um, which is aiming to reduce health inequalities in the community. So it's the wellbeing of, of the students that Stephen works with in creating the hives, but also with staff as well, because it's something really positive that they can get involved in um, and, and find out a little bit more about beekeeping and, and what's involved in that and, and really good for wellbeing. And then finally, the environmental pillar. So um, doing what we can to promote um, environmental activities and obviously honeybees are a fantastic, fantastic way of helping the environment.